I'm here with John, who is basically 50% of the team building Bomber Crew, which is a deceptively cute strategy bombing run simulator game, basically. Yeah, yeah, I'd say it's a strategy action game uh, set in the World War II bomber. It's pretty manic as well. Like when I started it, I thought this looks kind of sweet. These guys, all little cute characters, I can customize them. I can have a little pink and white stripy ship. This is all going to be. And then everything just went wrong when my ship was on fire. Well, that'll happen, yeah. Uh, and I mean, part of the, being able to customize them and sort of uh, grow to like your crew makes it even more uh, important to try and keep them alive through the mission. Really builds that tension because that's your crew and you yeah. don't want to lose them. So. Yeah, I really wasn't expecting it to be quite as manic as it was. Nor was I expecting it to be possible to have your crew sort of jump out of the plane and then you accidentally run them over on the landing field. You, you can do that, yeah. yeah. Um, it's not recommended. Uh, no, it's not a good strategy for to have a successful, successful bo bombing run. No. Um, I also failed the bombing run. I took a good photo of the base. Oh, well done. Um, but I didn't actually manage to get any of the bombs on it. Yeah, so I mean, with this demo mission, it's actually quite a bit harder than if you started the game from the beginning. Obviously, we've got a tutorial and we can ease everything in. But that's not particularly exciting for a demo, so... Uh. I like the way you're trying to make it easier for me to say face, because I just yes. completely died there. I did get all of the crew back in one piece. Oh, wow. I did land the plane correctly. Yeah. There's not much more to be said for what I achieved just then. Well, I mean, sometimes that's, that's half of the game, really, getting everyone back safely. Sometimes it's worth even aborting the mission just to get your crew back, because they're yeah. really... The core of the game is about levelling your crew up and making sure they survive. So it's, it's, sometimes it's a good strategic decision to... You know, maybe not complete the mission and make sure everyone's safe. So we'll pretend I made a strategic decision rather than just didn't know what <laughs> buttons I was pressing and going, oh my god, everything's on fire, which is probably closer to the mark. Yeah. How long did you spend developing this so far? So uh, we started uh, the beginning of 2017 full time on the game, but we've been prototyping for a bit before that, uh, but that's when we started really uh, developing full time. Um, we released on Steam last October, and okay. um, we're bringing it to consoles this year. Awesome. I can't believe just two of you made something that's this detailed. You must be yeah. really proud. Yeah, t uh, proud and a bit tired, but... Uh, a bit yeah. tired. Have you slept in the last year and a half? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, now and then. Now and then. <laughs> <laughs> so when are the other release dates for the other consoles for uh, this? So I actually know the exact release dates, but it's this year and it's not that far away. I think that's, that's how This year and not that far yeah, away. It's, uh, you heard it here first. <laughs> They told me not to be specific. So. Ah, well, this is an awesome game. I've had cool. a great time losing this horribly. So this game's got uh, challenge modes as well as the campaign modes? That's right. Uh, so there's a campaign mode where you play through missions, and that was there for the original release. Uh, we've added a new challenge mode, mm -hmm. which uh, is more like wave-based, and it's got okay, online cool. leaderboards, and that's new for the console version. And it'll be patched back into the PC version soon. Oh, that's awesome. So lots of variety in this game. And of course, I lost horribly, although people did survive, which apparently is a good enough strategy to get away with the fact that I completely did not actually bomb anything. But this is an awesome game, and I recommend you guys will try it out. And we'll see you later. <laughs> I've been pigeoned. Is that a verb? It is now. <laughs> These are so cute. They're, good, They're aren't so they? cute. Make sure you get one. It's so cute. They're really good, aren't they? At what point are you going to throw pigeons at me? Just do the final conclusion. Do yeah. the final part of the interview. Okay? And then be like, try not to hit this guy on the back of their head. Yeah. Uh, by the way, you're yeah, in a bombing run, so. <laughs> you want to photo bomb us? Is that what you're doing? You want in, you want in. <laughs> It'd be awesome because you'd literally, because we've lined it up for our height, you'd literally just be the logo, like walking through like this. <laughs> just like, you need a skateboard so you could just be like, through, like cool, cool. We're cool. Yeah, we're cool. Yeah. Bags full of pigeons. I didn't know there were pigeons to start Have with. You not had a pigeon? No, oh, I haven't had a pigeon. pigeon. I don't feel loved. I don't feel Cool. Well, I failed miserably at my go on this, but I'm going to have another go because it's absolutely great fun. And I recommend... One more time, please. The question as yeah, well? the question as well, yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm just now, I've got like the fear because I know. I know, I know, I know. He looks like he will. Look at him. He looks vicious. Him too. And I know him, so I know he's going to throw at me.